welcome you all with my love and respects. Let me introduce the program Nitya Kriya Yoga. Please listen. Kriya means process. Alchemy process of transforming you is called Kriya. These two days I am going to help you to go through the alchemy process of you transforming yourself. Nitya Kriya means the eternal alchemy. Helping you to go through eternal alchemy process. First, I wanted to introduce these four important principles of life. Only with these four important principles of life, you can understand death, you can understand life, you can have answers to all the questions related to life. I wanted to introduce these four principles of life to all of you. Please listen. The first principle, integrity. Integrity means honoring the word and thought you gave it to yourself and to others as your life. Honoring the word you give, word and thought you gave it to yourself and to others as life. Second, second principle, please listen. Authenticity. Authenticity means in any point of time, you being established in the peak of your capability and responding to life from inner image who you perceive you to be, outer image who you project you to be to others and others image what others expect you to be for them. Please listen. Please listen once more. I am defining authenticity. I am introducing these three words. Listen. Inner image, outer image, others image. What you perceive as you in you. The idea you carry about you in you is inner image. The idea you project about you to others is outer image. And ideas others expect from you is others image. Listen. What you feel as you is inner image, what you project yourself to be for others is outer image, what others expect you to be for them is others image. In all these three being in peak, having highest, best inner image for yourself about you, projecting the best image about you to others and fulfilling what others expect from you is authenticity. Listen. The image you perceive about you is inner image. 
the image you project about you to others is outer image and the image others expect from you about you is others image being in your peak in all three is authenticity what you feel what you project and what you make others expect from you what others expect from you in all these three being in your peak is authenticity please listen blessed are those who feel they do not know these principles and listen again and again about it fools are those who think they know all this already so please listen just today morning one of my brahmacharini she wrote from malaysia she told me swami ji every time when i listen about this four principles and talk about the four principles i discover something new i said that is why they are called eternal principles sarva baumya vrata it is just like sun as old as age and as new as today can you all see the square i am trying to create is your body you may ask why it is in this way because your body is this way so i am also putting it inside this body what do you feel as you is inner image inner image in sanskrit we have a word mamakara sanskrit we have a word mamakara and the way you project you to others see all these different people the way you project you to others this is mamak ahankara outer image or ahankara in sanskrit we have a word ahankara yes then what others expect from you how others expect you to be for them that is anyakara listen being in the peak of what you perceive yourself to be for you what you project yourself to be for others and what others expect you to be for them being in the peak in all these three is authenticity now the usual question arises why should i care about what others think of me please listen when you expect others should fulfill what you expect from them they also have the right to expect what they want from your life authenticity is fulfilling expressing yourself in the peak in all these three 
third principle let me expand on third principle responsibility means living and responding to life from the truth that you are the source of and therefore you are responsible for all happenings in and around you please listen living and responding to life from the truth that you are the source of everything so therefore you are responsible for all happenings in and around you i am not asking you to understand this principle immediately existentially i just want you to understand this principle linguistically now understand linguistically that's enough this principle can be experienced only when you see in the life when you take the responsibility and see the benefits only then you will be able to understand the power of this principles only when you practice it when you pull these principles into your life to make it into reality only then you understand this great principles as part of life now please understand linguistically that's enough these two days i'll be helping you to make these four principles as experience it will be most beneficial for you if you bring your life to the program and take the program to your life means applying these principles by internalizing internalizing means analyzing for the purpose of internalizing is internalizing listen we analyze many time for the purpose of rejecting here i am asking you to internalize analyze for the purpose of internalizing the mandatory condition for you to get this program is listening please listen again and again spiritual teachers tell you how much ever you listen if you don't practice you will not see the result i tell you how much ever you try to practice if you don't listen you will not see the result people say listening is supposed to lead to practicing i tell you practicing is supposed to lead you to listening listening is the result each time you listen you expand each time you listen life happens in an expanded dimension to you listening 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 catch it don't miss even a single word don't even miss the gaps listening so understand the third principle responsibility living thinking feeling responding to life from the truth that you are the source of everything you are the source of everything so you are responsible for all happenings in and around you fourth principle 
is enriching enriching means you taking responsibility with integrity and authenticity that you are committed continuously enriching expanding yourself and life in and around you you are committed to continuously enriching expanding life in and around you please listen these are the four basic principles of life only with this basic principles the abc of life starts abc of life starts only with these four basic principles all the questions about life can be answered all the doubts of the life can be solved the ultimate doubt of the life the death itself can be demystified with these four principles this program is all about making you understand the four principles of life and preparing you to live a pattern free life and when time comes experience pattern free death please listen while you live you tie yourself bind yourself with so many patterns of fear desire guilt laziness pain sufferings so many patterns bind you by enjoying them you also bind them the mental patterns life stuck with mental patterns and death stuck with mental patterns life stuck with mental patterns and death stuck with mental patterns is hell please listen if your life is full of mental patterns your death will be full of patterns don't think your life can be different and when you are about to die some angel or god somebody will land and your death will be different no you are going to die exactly the way you are going to live and you are living sometime people ask me especially hindus they say oh at the last moment of death if i say rama krishna shiva hari govinda i will reach heaven why should i suffer whole life why should i repeat god's name whole life why should i do something a whole life you will be chanting coca cola pizza and suddenly while you die you will remember rama krishna govinda what do you mean it's impractical just postponing attitude so please listen in these two days i'll help you to apply these four principles to solve many of the questions you have about life especially help you to live pattern free life bondage free life and experience graceful exit when time comes so i will help you to cross through many of your emotional layers 
process of patterns the first layers of pattern you need to cross is fear 